if there was something in your kitchen right now that might raise your testosterone levels? So I'm talking about vitamin D, which has been getting some publicity as a possible natural way to lower testosterone levels. So in this video, I'm going to do a deep dive into the research on vitamin D and its role in raising testosterone levels. Let's take a look at that right now. So vitamin D supplements come in two forms. There's vitamin D2, sometimes called ergocalciferol, and then there's vitamin D3, which is called cholecalciferol. Vitamin D3 is considered the most potent because it's the same type of vitamin D that we make when we're exposed to ultraviolet B radiation from the sun. Now, before that can become active, vitamin D must undergo some processing. First, the vitamin has to get processed in the liver, where it's converted to 25-hydroxy vitamin D, that molecule in turn gets converted by the kidneys to the active form, which is called 125-dihydroxy vitamin D. Now, in order for vitamin D to work its magic, it has to bond to the vitamin D receptors. Now, every cell of your body has receptors for vitamin D. That also includes the testes and even sperm as well. The fact that every cell of your body has receptors for vitamin D tells us it does a lot of different things in the body. And if you're thinking about a blood test for vitamin D, whether it's through your doctor or one of these home test kits that have been popping up all over the place, look for one that measures 25-OHD. That is an indicator of the active form of vitamin D in your body. So why might vitamin D be related to testosterone levels? Well, I think if vitamin D were discovered today, it probably would have been called hormone D. And that's because if you look at the chemical structure of vitamin D, it kind of looks like a hormone. It has a similar chemical structure. It looks more like a hormone than a vitamin. And like hormones, vitamin D appears to have a wide array of effects in the body. Various studies have shown that vitamin D appears to play a role in a whole bunch of different things, including the immune system, cancer, asthma, depression, Parkinson's disease, multiple sclerosis, and many other things. So what about vitamin D and testosterone levels? So let's take a look at the research and see what it shows. Hypogonadism refers to a condition where the testes are not making enough sex hormones, like testosterone. Now it does appear that vitamin D is needed for the proper functioning of the gonads. In one clinical trial, researchers noted that low levels of vitamin D were associated with more hypogonadism when they looked at over 2,000 middle-aged guys in their 50s, lending some evidence that maybe there is something to vitamin D and anabolic testosterone levels. In another investigation, researchers who were looking at over 400 young men noted that higher vitamin D levels, in other words, vitamin D that was over 75 nanomoles per liter, was associated not only with higher testosterone levels, but also greater physical performance as well. In other words, guys with higher testosterone levels were bigger, stronger, and faster. In another investigation involving almost 700 middle-aged men, it was noted that there was indeed an association between vitamin D and testosterone. In other words, the lower the vitamin D, the lower the testosterone. The higher the vitamin D, the higher the testosterone levels were. These researchers also reported that vitamin D levels and testosterone were higher during the sunnier months, such as the summer, than the winter months when people tend to get less sunlight. Now, in another interesting investigation, researchers looked at 54 overweight men who did not have diabetes. This the study lasted for one year and the men were given either a placebo or 84.5 micrograms of vitamin D. That's 3,382 international units. These researchers reported that vitamin D did indeed raise testosterone levels. So that's pretty encouraging, but we're not done yet. Now, I would point out here that not all the research here is positive, such as this study here, where researchers saw no increase in testosterone levels when they looked at previous studies where high dose vitamin D was given to men with low testosterone levels. Here, the vitamin D dosage that they gave people ranged from 500 micrograms to up to 1,000 micrograms, or 20,000 to 40,000 international units a day. So here, these researchers reported that no, vitamin D did not raise testosterone levels. We also have this investigation where both healthy and not so healthy men were given vitamin D supplements. So the researchers looked at 103 healthy people and 33 guys who were receiving dialysis. The people were given either a placebo or 20 micrograms, 800 international units, of vitamin D each day for three months. It was reported that vitamin D did not raise testosterone levels in either the healthy guys or the guys getting dialysis treatment. In this next study, researchers followed 98 men with normal testosterone levels for three months. They compared the effects of 500 micrograms of vitamin D versus a placebo, and they found that vitamin D did not 
raise testosterone levels. Okay, so that is a lot of studies that I just covered in a short period of time. Let's look at the research in another way. So here is the 10,000 mile view of the research studies of vitamin D and testosterone. When we look at the studies this way, one thing that pops up is how many of these papers compare vitamin D and testosterone levels. In other words, they don't give people vitamin D supplements to see what happens. Rather, they just measure testosterone and vitamin D to see if they correlate with each other. Why do they do this? Well, it's easier to just look at blood levels of these two compounds and draw conclusions from that. And if you look at just those studies, it does appear that yes, indeed, vitamin D does raise testosterone levels. But let's look at the research another way. Let's just look at the studies where researchers gave guys vitamin D supplements to see what impact it might have on androgen levels. If we do this, we see one study where 83 micrograms of vitamin D appeared to raise testosterone levels and even sex hormone binding globulin. However, in this investigation, it's also stated that the guys were on a diet as well. They were trying to lose weight. Well, that might be a problem because losing weight will also raise testosterone levels. Based on this, I'm inclined to toss this study out because it doesn't take into consideration the effects of weight loss and testosterone levels. That leaves us with these two studies that appear to report that vitamin D used at a dosage of between 20 micrograms and up to 500 micrograms for three months does not raise testosterone levels in healthy guys or even guys who might not be so healthy. So what do I think of all this? Well, number one, researchers need to stop taking the easy way out and just measuring vitamin D and testosterone levels. If you just look at those studies, it appears to show that vitamin D does raise testosterone levels. However, we've got way too many of those studies out there, and I think researchers need to stop going in that direction. Number two, we need more intervention trials where researchers actually give people vitamin D supplements for a period of time, three months, six months, one year, to see what effect it might have on testosterone levels in both healthy and not so healthy people. For now, I'm inclined to think that vitamin D does not raise testosterone levels. I'm not convinced by the research that I've seen showing that association between D and testosterone because, because one of the key tenets of statistics is correlation does not mean cause and effect. Just because two things appear to rise and fall together does not necessarily mean they're related to each other. But that doesn't mean you should throw out your vitamin D supplements because vitamin D is a critical nutrient. Now, if you're thinking about a vitamin D supplement, the first thing I would say to you is go and get your vitamin D levels checked. Let's see if you are indeed deficient in this nutrient and while you're at it, go and get your testosterone levels checked as well. If you do this before you take a vitamin D supplement, that will give you an indication of whether vitamin D is indeed raising your testosterone levels. If you found this video helpful, share it with your friends so I can continue to make a difference out there. And until next time, take care out there.